let's analyze our clout score and how to get it increase your clout score. Uh, right now I'm at clout.com forward slash Ron Orr, which is my username, Ron Orr. You can create your own account, create your own username. My uh, score right now is at 62, which has increased from about 50 to 62, uh, really in, in only about four or five weeks. It's gone up a lot, and I'll show you the stats and the charts and graphs uh, going forward here. Uh, right now you can see that I uh, influence people about a lot of different topics, but my, my focus has always been on marketing and uh, a little bit into Minnesota, but mostly marketing, and I want you to keep a laser focus on your marketing as well as whatever your topic is. And then this section will be for the people that influence me or that I influence. This part is the score analysis, and you see that that chart's gone up a lot here in the last 30 to 60 days. And this is the exact number. I've seen this change uh, once or twice a day even. You can tweet or uh, share that on Facebook if you want to show that to other people. Your score goes up to about 100, and uh, it works on a logarithmic scale, and it actually gets harder and harder to get that score to go up over a period of time. Right here on the true reach, uh, I've seen that actually go from about 2,000 to 5,000 just in the last 30 days. Uh, some of their other uh, amplification and network, and it, it tells you what that is right here. You can tweet and share that on Facebook. I've seen those numbers go up quite a bit also in the last 60 days. This is the part I'm focusing on the most right now, is it's helping me track uh, how to increase uh, my traffic. Because what's happening is the likes and the comments actually show engagement. And engagement actually gets people to click on links. And you want to click on links to get them over to your blog to find out more about you. Uh, this actually precedes that. So if you see these numbers, likes and comments, actually going up, you're going to actually know that you're going to increase traffic. It's kind of a predictable model. So I've seen this number go from about 500 likes to about 1,500 likes probably just in the last two weeks. And I've actually seen it go from uh, 1,200 to 1,500 likes probably in the last four days. So this number is going up pretty fast right now. Uh, these are the two metrics I've seen on uh, analyzing other people's profiles to actually get the score to go up the most. I've seen people with well over 21,000 likes, and I've seen a lot of my friends with four to 6,000 likes. So this actually shows that they're engaging and finding a lot of the common uh, type of people that do what they do and think like they think to actually engage with them. So that kind of will be a predictable model to let you know you got traffic coming. So I'll show you that part on Facebook. Uh, here I am on the Facebook fan page uh, insights, and they give you a, quite a few stats, and I can't show them, show them all to you right now, but this would show, like, if you're sharing content, um, I could actually click on that to actually show what the content is. It's an image, and then basically it shows my market reach of how many people on those fans, and I'll show you that in a second, of those fans I actually saw it the 48 reach, and then this actually shows uh, once people start liking and engaging with it, and then they start talking about it and sharing with their friends. And your goal is to actually get the numbers on the right side to actually increase larger than the ones in the beginning. And that actually shows a viral effect. So you're not going to hit on every one. Some of the content is going to connect with people better than others. Some of the images, some of the quotes, some of the content you're sharing. And your goal is to get this number higher, 50 or 100 or 200. The higher that you get that number, I've seen it go up to 400 uh, quickly right away on some stuff. Um, that actually shows it's going more viral. And that actually shows that for the same amount of effort, you're actually getting more marketing done by other people helping you with the marketing because you're sharing great content. As you engage on Facebook uh, with the right audience, you're going to find that people are going to find out more about you, so they're going to go over to your fan page, and then they're going to like your fan page, which pretty much keeps them subscribed to your fan page as long as they like your content. So that's going to be the same as a like. Um, you can see the numbers have gone up quite a bit on that. And then uh, what happens is a lot of the people that uh, fan or like your page are going to have their own social network of 500 people that they're plugging into. So that number is going to increase very quickly. So it's going to be probably a 500 to 1 ratio based on the circle of influence of who you're hanging around with. Some of the people you hang around with might know 5,000 people. So this number is going to increase very quickly and the percentage is going to go up a lot. Uh, the people talking about this based on their definition, that's going to be people liking and engaging and sharing and all that kind of stuff. So that number is going to go up. And then the market reach as far as how many people you're reaching that number is going to go up quite a bit as well because that number is going to get bigger because of the friends of the fans. The reason I'm doing all of this is to get them over to my blog right here, and I'll show you the next steps in another video.